Hello, it's me again. Today should be the 29th of June. I posted a clip yesterday, which I thought was rather important, that I had to feel the to post. I felt it was um, extremely important that I post it. Um, and I suppose to follow on from that post. Um, I guess I think I should um, continue on with a related one. Um, I um, continue to experience the uh, anxiety that I was feeling yesterday um, with some new symptoms. Of, so I was at the doctor's, the, 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 the emergency department, the emergency department of my local hospital today trying to explain my situation to the uh, the, do the doctors there and not getting very much for luck at all really um, it's because I think the, the health system in the state where I live is because I do I do here in Australia I like I do you see, people often from foreign countries outside of Australia think that Australia has this wonderful, um, this wonderful utopia of health health systems that you know is this wonderfully um, universal healthcare. System. But because it's because it's a universal healthcare system, system, it gets often swamped and overwhelmed with with extraneous. Um, extraneous um, situations and cases that could otherwise be dealt with in a um, uh, in a um, allied health um, situation or in the home even so it's like well what can you do though what can you do so so I my, my my individual situation I'm trying to request some of these allied health services uh, that I need but not getting anywhere with them I was like I'm sitting there sort of jumping up and down screaming and saying this is what I need and not getting anywhere with it it feels like I'm suffering and losing out on it because of the fact that I'm constantly having to chase up all these services that I feel need but um, it's making my anxiety and depression even worse now because of it and it's doing my head in it does my head in something good hmm Yeah. So, which is why I want to, um, I want to hear from other people who are in a similar situation to me, who feel that sometimes they just want to be heard and listened to, and having someone there to talk to is important. You just knowing that someone's right there, ready to listen is important on the other end of the line. You know, if we're in, in, right there in the room <laughs> with them. So, you know, Skype call, uh, 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 yeah, uh, maybe stay over with a friend, with a friend during a couple of nights. You know, all sorts of things. <laughs> it helps, a little bit helps. Got my hair. And grey. Honestly. See, this is what I mean. This is how situation is enough to send a person to looking grey. I was surprised when I fully wipe my hair. But I'm just exhausted. I am. I'm exhausted. I'm. My anxiety is like astronomically off the scale. And, uh, I often get um, 
where I've done by my GP for what's called non-compliance. Or th- uh, th- uh, th- uh, th- threatening non-compliance, which means, you know, or attempted non-compliance. And it's like, oh, it's not that I don't want to comply with these wishes, it's that the matter of whether I can or not, logistically speaking. And even physically, right, I couldn't write this in a minute. So, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess I just have to stick to it, I suppose. I to stick to it. See how I go. In the meantime, I would like to start up a, a, a Skype based support group for people who um, perhaps um, uh, are feeling alone and vulnerable, trapped in their own sort of anxiety and depression, can be connected with someone that has similar interests, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Similar interests and, and tastes and uh, can sit there and talk about things and uh, over Skype and, and they can talk and show things and share things. and Even if they, all they do is just sit there and uh, talk for a little bit and then a period of silence. Then talk for a little bit and then a period of silence. It's just a little, that's what I do sometimes when I get But so, but you know, it's just it's something that you can think about. <laughs> if you want to get a hold of me on Skype, I'll leave my Skype and Charles below. Shall I? Uh-huh. Just go below, and uh, you'll see. The, uh, my sculpture just went out. and very depressed and, and I'm so just all you in there. And um I can't, can't wait to see what this the future brings. Hopefully some best. Have fun people. And don't forget to talk to each other. <laughs>